What is up guys, GiantSanami01 here with another FIFA 17 tutorial. This one's going to be focused on the best and most overpowered shot in FIFA 17, guys. The crossbody shot. You're taking the shot across the body to the far post. So, so good and so overpowered. Guys, as always, if you have missed out on some of my tutorials, make sure to check them out. I got tutorials of basically everything in FIFA 17, including attacking, defending, passing, you name it, I got it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future ones. Here I'm going to show you an example of what I mean by this crossbody shot. He takes it with his outside foot across his body to the far post and it goes right across the face of the keeper but for some reason in FIFA 17 guys they just have a tough time reacting to it and you're gonna score a ton of goals this reddish brownish rectangle guys is where this shot is most effective of course you can extend this a little bit to the outside a little bit farther out but of course with that you have to be more precise you have to have better players you have to be really comfortable with your aiming and your power so usually you want to get it around this rectangle angle and if you do you're gonna score a ton of ton of goals it goes right past the goalkeeper right in front of his eyes but he just doesn't seem to react in time he doesn't seem to be able to stop it more often than not and you're gonna score a ton of ton of goals Again, guys, this is a cross body shot, so it has to be with your outside foot across your body. Otherwise, it would just be a regular power shot to the far post, and that is not what is overpowered. It's the cross body shot. Usually, you want to do this with your preferred foot, with your strong foot, because if you ha do it with your weak foot, of course, there's less likely that you're going to be as powerful with it, and you're not going to be nearly as accurate. But if you have a four-star weak foot, or you feel comfortable in your shooting, like here with Raheem Sterling, I take it with his weak foot and I'm able to successfully score guys of course power depends on your player on your distance and on your angle but usually you want to have around two bars of power but of course that varies and you have to play around with it a little bit figure out exactly with what player what angle how much power you need and stuff like that and here we're gonna get to another example this time with Alexi Sanchez this time on the opposite side of the pitch, so his right foot is his outside foot, which is also his preferred foot, so he's going to be much more accurate. He's a little bit closer, so you would think the goalkeeper would be able to stop this shot, but it just goes right in front of him, and he's not going to be able to stop it more often than not. In terms of aiming, guys, you want to aim with your left stick just before applying power. You want to aim to the far post. You want to get it as much to the side netting as possible. The ideal location for this shot is right on the side netting, a little bit high. Of course, the height depends on the power. So if you want to get it higher, you want to apply more power, but be careful, too much power, it's gonna completely miss the target. And then here I'll show you one more example, this time with Walcott, once again his right foot, his outside foot is his preferred foot, takes it across the goal, not a very powerful shot, not the best aim, I would have preferred him to aim a little bit more towards that far post, but once again you see the goalkeeper can't stop it. This move is also really good against a keeper, either if he's rushing out or if he's staying back in these one-on-one -on -one situations. You can see here, I'm a little bit far away. I don't recommend being such a distance away because you have to be more precise with your power and the goalkeeper has more time to obviously react to the shot. So I would be a little bit more close, but you got to be careful if he decides to rush out his keeper. If he does decide to rush out his keeper, you want to make sure you do have some some space between your player your attacker and the keeper but he can't be too close because if he's too close he's going to be able to block the incoming shot so you want to make sure you do have some space between your player and the keeper first thing you should do on the breakaway is see if the goalkeeper is rushing out by looking at your radar if he is just make sure there's still some distance if he, there is some distance more than likely you will score here's another example once again doesn't have to be a clear one-on-one -on -one breakaway situation. He's a little bit ahead. The keeper's the only one in his way. You take that shot with your strong foot like you saw there with Silva. So, so good. There are some things you do have to keep in mind, guys. For example, the angle. If it's not a good angle, if it's too tight in this situation, I'm too far to the outside for the distance I am from the goalkeeper. And because of that, the goalkeeper is able to stop that shot. 
And then, like I said before, guys, it has to be with your outside foot, or otherwise it would just be a regular power shot. And in that case, you would have to square up your shoulders with the far post and not just aim with the left stick. But that is basically it, guys. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope it helped you guys out. Make sure to incorporate the crossbody shot into your FIFA 17 game. Click on one of these boxes, check out some of my other series, including the rest of my tutorials, my top five videos, like my top five skill moves, ultimate team videos, and my formation guys. And of course, click in the middle to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials or tip videos. Thank you guys so much.